Aloha everyone, this is Stephanie with Stephanie in 5D. And I'm here to uh, discuss the energies of the Lionsgate portal um, this year. So Lionsgate is here every year, um, starting on Galactic New Year, which is July 26th. It peaks on 8-8, eight, eight, um, the 8th of August, and then it um, uh, finishes up around the 12th of August. Um, so before we really get into it, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for hitting that bell button. All of those things really help my channel to grow. Please do comment and have conversation. That's very helpful as well. Okay, so Sirius Portal. Um, the Sirius Portal or the Lionsgate Portal is when our galactic sun, right? Our sun's sun, uh, the star of Sirius is in alignment with our sun and Orion's belt. And this happens every year within that window. It will peak, uh, energies will peak at the eighth. Now I will say this year that Lionsgate is normally a very um, big energy. Um, it's normally very peak or pinnacle. I will say the energies of this year, there's so much other astrological things going on that it's not the main show, okay? But we're still going to pull um, cards on it anyway and get an energy of uh, what we can move forward with. How I like to look at the Sirius portal in alignment is that it really lines us up with the cosmic sun of our galaxy. There's many galaxies, right? And so it opens up a portal of change, initiation, downloads and codes. Some of us, um, Sirius is called A'a in the um, Hawaiian language. And so that particular star system, some of us may resonate as having been star seeds or are star seeds from that area. Sirius is also a galactic portal. Lots of different people have lived on Sirius and it's a, like a, a teaching um, planet, right? So people come as a hub, they learn from each other and, um, and grow, right? So those energies are moving in at this time to really help us to shift and change. So you notice this part almost feels like the new year, right? For those of us that are spiritually minded folks, those who watch this channel, you may be feeling like, why do I feel like I'm birthing or having my new year? or making my new year resolutions almost um, now because it's more in line with nature, right? And so we have a galactic shift happening at this time. Now the other astrology that's happening, we have Capricorn that's, retro, or excuse me, Pluto that's retrograde in Capricorn until November 15th. Um, then it will go direct um, into Aquarius where it'll be for the next 16 years. So it's been in Capricorn for the last 16 years. So this is a review time the next few months and we've got this Lionsgate right here in the middle of that review time. So we may be reviewing how we do life, relationships, career, health, all the big things that, are, that life's about um, are up for review at this time. Are your structures in place, um, et cetera. Uh, we have Mercury going uh, retrograde, uh, I believe it's in Gemini, and that is happening on August 4th. So the first three weeks of August um, are going to be um, in Mercury retrograde. Now, I like Mercury retrogrades, uh, so um, I always find that that's a time where you can make corrections or receive um, communications or money from things in the past that maybe you missed in the last cycle, um, but it can deal with communications in such a way where technology is a little bit um, um, fritzy or what have you. So just reread contracts at this time and really make decisions, but maybe don't make that move yet. Just make the decisions and the planning stages of things. Uh, we also have Neptune is retrograde as well. I do forget which, um, a planet that's in um, and so um, or what sign that's in so for my astrologers who watch please tell us in the comments what Neptune is retrograde in so there's a lot of 
shifting energy. Um, we've got our big planets that are our far out planets that have a longer scope that are changing signs while we enter the serious portal. Okay, and so I just like to look at what the energies are. We're going to pull a few different cards from a few different decks and go into um, this with an open heart of what are we changing, upgrading. I know I feel like I've been going through huge upgrades lately and, um, and starting, starting to get the inspiration and the ahas. You know, sometimes we have a period where there's no inspiration um, and there's that faith and that trust that it will come again. And so these, um, I'm feeling like the lion's gate is the clearing out and there's epiphanies coming. Um, I know in the last couple of days, I always feel the energies before I'm going to do a video so that I can transmit it to you. And so what's been downloading for me has been really a clearing out of the body um, but also, so I've had epiphanies of um, childhood things like realizing, whoa, I didn't have choice in childhood. So some of us may be having these um, aha moments that really change the trajectory to say, oh, but I'm here now. So that's one of the things with the serious portal is that you get to be here now and you get to... Um, decide and put on the avatar that you are now rather than um, playing out the roles of the past. It's an energy that's very opening for transformation um, if you use it. And all of these retrogrades that we're having right now are really getting us set up for that six, next 16 year cycle. And it's allowing us to move into uh, the new so we are in this peak time of really being able to choose a higher and new reality and the energetics are supporting us so while it may feel uncomfortable I've had lots of different friends who um, have just come out of a myself included kind of a funk or uh, a lower time and that's the opening there's always this kind of um, recalibration point and that can look like a lot of different things right before you're about to jump through a portal because you have to review and so that's what's been happening but then I'm seeing people um, like redecorating their houses cleaning their houses like um, changing their look or changing their their um, way they dress or their hair or what have you lately and it's because this energy is about the new okay so let's get into the visuals. We'll get pull some cards and just let's look at um, what is this serious portal, this Lion's Gate 8-8, eight, eight, bring it on in, okay? Uh, we are in Year of the Dragon. Uh, it is Water Dragon, I believe. And so that's um, helpful at this time because the, it can be, during these Lion's Gate, it can be hot. Sometimes, um, uh, fires happen to start on um, earth, you know, because there's lots of this um, energetic pool and it's the hot sun of Leo. And so, um, you know, it's nice that we have the water element that's helping to balance that because at the end of the day, um, part of our lessons as humans is to learn how to balance and be able to come forward in authority in your form and you're in an organic avatar right now, and so as a human. And so um, balancing helps to bring in the form, okay, in its correct expression. All right, we've got Lasya of um, Parvati, and let me look, these are the energies here. So weird, my voice just did a weird <laughs> sound. <laughs> okay. Is there's a gentler way to proceed and obtain the same or even greater effect. Tame the wild and frenzied workings of the mind by grounding yourself with beauty, pleasure, and grace. Violence and its negative effects shall be overcome and healed through feminine gentleness and inner spiritual strength. This oracle is a sign of great future happiness. Yes. Okay, so this Lionsgate portal is saying um, there is be gentle. There's a gentler way to 
make your money. There's a gentler way to be in relationships. There's a gentler way to speak to yourself. If the inner critic has been up, there's a gentler way to speak to yourself and be able to move forward with joy and with love and with um, abundance and prosperity and success. Yeah. So this is saying there is great future happiness. This portal is opening up that great future happiness, but how you get there, it's asking you to be gentler with yourself and see the human, um, the human paradigm right now is above all else, enjoy. Right? And we forget sometimes that we're here to enjoy this earth. So whatever you have going on, um, especially right now, the energies are quite chaotic worldwide. Uh, the U.S. is, is very um, uh, chaotic right now because it's election years. So that is a frenzied energy. And Spirit's asking during this serious portal to come in and balance that energy. Be gentle with yourself, calm in your spirit, and know that there is a gentler, softer way. We do not have to be overwhelmed by the panic outside of us, nor do we have to be overwhelmed and, and made to believe that we are in crisis, right? So it is a perfect opportunity to stop, be gentle with yourself, assess in your body, hey, am I physically safe right now? Do I have physical safety? because um, uh, it is someone trying to kill me. Um, otherwise, there's no reason to panic, right? All is well, even if it's inconvenient or there's change processes happening. So this is saying be gentle with yourself, step back during this time of transition and move yourself into a lighter aspect. We're also gonna look at one of the rune cards here and see what the rune energy is for this. Um, okay, so we've got uh, we've got a moon that came up. This de deck has runes and moons, um, so I'll also get a rune. We got the waning crescent, surrender. Okay, so during this Lionsgate portal, surrender the frenzy, surrender the crisis, surrender the need to be in chaos or create a problem in order to feel something. If you feel nothing, that's okay. You're anchoring 5D frequencies, um, but there is an element of surrender. And surrender is not surrendering to another. It's surrendering to the life force within you, to the creation energy and the creator energy that's within you. We also have Elhaz or protection. Um, Oops, can you see that? There we go. These are really beautiful, but they've got that shine to them. And this is protection or shield, okay? Surrender is going to be your protection. And Spirit is wanting to know that you are protected to make this change or go for that life change that you've been wanting. You're protected in the energies. And the best protection is correct action or right action. And so what this is saying is use your um, critical thinking and being faculties to be gentler with yourself, to surrender the defenses, open up in such a way that at a time where everyone wants to close off, this is the time to open up and protect yourself in a different way through correct or right action, through allowing your surrender to be your shield, okay? So if there's a lot of resistance with a project, with a person, with a relationship, even with your health and wellness, if you're having a real hard time, like with an eating plan that you're having or a change that you've made and you're having judgments about it and there's a lot of stuff, surrender for a moment. There might be a moment to take a pause, a breather, Right, take a breath. <sighs> okay, allow yourself to surrender into it. And that will be your protection. There's no need to rush right now. Uh, what's being said to me right now is that the, um, the general energies and the program that's trying to be put into place is one of um, emergency, crisis, frenzy, very speedy energy. 
Uh, what Spirit's asking is during this Lionsgate portal, step back, breathe, be gentle, surrender, sure. and look at how nature functions. And nature is never in a hurry, okay? Even on a hunt, okay, as fast as fast animals are, I, I just saw a cheetah, and when she's on a hunt, and the lioness is going for what she wants, she has pinpointed it first. She has quietly surrendered. She is in no rush until it's the correct timing and the alignment to boom, move straight in for the prey, right? So even in that scenario where you can see an animal moving fast or a river running fast, it wasn't always doing that. It has to be the right alignment and you will miss the alignment if you're in a hurry if you're frenzied, if you're not clear, okay? So this is, this is asking you to step back a little bit, um, make your plan, surrender. Okay, let's get um, some tarot cards and then we will close out this reading, but I am really excited about this. Um, this is great energy. It feels like, how are they showing me this? It feels like moving from scattered energy everywhere hustle culture there's a real big hustle culture in the u.s i don't know if around the world that it's as um prevalent um it's going from hustle culture to precise action right taking that big picture and bringing it on in okay knowing exactly when to move forward even if everything around you is being, um, you know, anxious or um, overworked, like be in your center, as they're showing me. It's precise movements at this time. And you've got to slow down to go fast, as my friend Michelle says, right? You got to slow down to go fast because you got to move the catapult back, pull the string back so you can catapult forward. That's what this lion's gate is allowing us to do. We get to do that. Or we have five of water as the first card out, which is the five of cups. Okay, so some of you at this time entering into the lion's gate may feel like you've you've lost something, or you've moved through, um, uh, you've had a emotional loss, or you're at a um, at a place where you feel like, gosh, is is anything ever really going to work out in my favor? That being said. In the traditional cards, you're looking at, now this is the good tarot, and so this is actually saying that it's opening up room for you to be in your, um, to be in your power, okay, to come back into emotional um, rest and to allow yourself to see more clearly. Notice she's looking out onto the horizon and just floating. Okay, we have the four of fire for this landscape, which is the four of wands. So anything that you lost or felt like you lost is actually has prepared you to have a moment here uh, to build the foundation. The four of wands speaks of celebration, excellent foundation. It is a, the uh, spark that is the eternal burning flame. It allows you to be in a space of, uh, it can indicate marriage even, in a love read. This isn't a love read, but it's letting you know that there's a foundation that you're building and it comes from what you maybe felt like you lost, um, but there's no need. And we have eight of air. Eight of air can indicate overthinking. That's the eight of swords. Um, so what this is saying is really this landscape portal is going to help clear up some of that overthinking. You may be tempted in this chaotic energy to overthink or become anxious, but Spirit's saying we've got you, okay? Because next up is Page of Fire, which is the Page of Wands. New energy coming in here that feels like you're a student again, that feels like you have passion again. It brings up the imagination. Yeah. We have High Priestess next. The High Priestess is silent observer, that surrender 
then she knows everything and she knows exactly how to move. And then we have six of earth. Okay, so it moves into the six of earth, which is the six of pentacles, a whole gift from the universe. Six of pentacles, and we have this buck here, yeah? It's like when you slow down enough, even in your movements, you slow down your breath and you allow yourself to see, bucks indicate, um, and, and the deer indicates gentleness, and there's a power in the gentleness. Um, and this one is representing the six of earth card, which is a whole gift from the universe. It's equal, give and receive, it's reciprocity, it's being noticed and valued and paid for what you bring to the table. It's being noticed and valued in a relationship and someone showing up and actually, um, you know, giving an equal measure. It's you valuing yourself in equal measure and really honoring yourself and your health. And that's all coming from the, the, the beginnings that were a little shaky, okay? The last row here, we have queen of air, messenger of water, queen of water. So we have queen of air, which would be uh, the queen of swords, queen of water, queen of cups, and then the messenger of water, which is the, um, which is the, that's the jack of hearts and beads. I don't know. Um, but what this is showing with the messenger of water here is that there is a communication coming in. All right, queen of swords or the queen of air is very intellectual. This is the, um, the card of the air sign, the feminine of the air sign. So Libra, Aquarius, and uh, Gemini. Um, I do think this leans towards um, Aquarius. Um, that being said, there's these energies that are informing your emotion. So it's the divine feminine is up within ourselves. Whether you are gendered masculine or feminine matters not. It's the divine feminine energy within yourself is being informed. There's messages coming through. Okay, both of the heart and the intellect. And I feel like it's this combination of the two that's actually an integration so that you can move forward from your heart space rather than moving as a, um, uh, from the mental space. So learning to combine them together um, as co-creators rather than trying to just mentally move through this field at this time. Very good information. I would also say um, what they're saying for most of you, if you are going into mentorship, a mentorship or needing a mentor, or if you're um, starting to get a business partner or make a business planner or do some other things, there's feminine energy that's going to be very helpful. And this is likely uh, someone on your level or older or um, has more experience than you in this. Um, the feminine energy in this particular Lionsgate time frame, um, and this energy of the Lionsgate will last for the next six months, but we're um, in our peaks right now, okay, on the 8th, moving through the 12th. Um, because there's an overall energy of five of air, that's the five of swords. Uh, and underneath this King of Earth, King of Pentacles. So that's the entrepreneur card. That's the high value card. Five of Air says, um, it, this is the easiest energy in the deck. It says that you've got maybe some resistance or reservations, but the it's, uh, Spirit's assuring this is the easiest thing to get over. So yes, you may have some doubts about your forward movement. Yes, you may have some doubts about um, surrendering to your new life or your new way of being or avatar. And what this is saying is it's, it's, it's air, okay? Uh, it's not even formed in the form. So any type of obstacles that you have or perceive, it's really more in your mind than actually being uh, earth side, okay? So um, those are um, easy to achieve change right um, in that case um, especially with this 
Um, if you are having mental blocks or um, negative limiting beliefs or emotions, highly recommend Neuro Linguistics Programming. Um, I have the link in the description below. Um, my mentor that has taught that uh, comes from the seed of the Hawaiian frame, so it's, a, it's a really useful and you can join any, anywhere in the world, okay? It's on Zoom. So happy that we have the technology that we do now. So if those things are coming up, there's a level one um, August 3rd and 4th, that's tomorrow and the next day, but there's also ones in December and you can look up what schedule works best for you. But this is saying, if it's, how can I say that? It's an easy, we'll say easy, okay? Now easy doesn't mean that there's no um, effort or requirement to do anything about it, but it's it's one of the easier tasks, right? Because it's, it's a, a mental shift, mental emotional, and um, that can be acquired by acquiring the correct tools. Uh, so, and those are available to you. So thank you guys so much. This lion's gate looks beautiful. You're protected to move forward. You're protected to um, integrate the messages that are coming through. Um, you're protected to open yourself up so that you can experience a whole new way of being. And this is the catapult time. And um, so it's, a, it's actually a very sweet energy that I'm getting and it's a change from kind of the defensiveness that has been in the general energies lately. So um, that's what I have for you. Be gentle with yourself. Thank you so much. If you would like a, um, a session with me um, or a human design reading, um, you would just go to www.stephanieand5d.com. You can book online there and I do those meetings via phone or Zoom. Um, and yeah, so if you're wanting to work with me personally or have me assist you in your personal sovereignty, those tools are in the description box. But thank you guys so much. And until next time, aloha.